This video is sponsored by Auto AE. I have received a mail this week asking to recreate this video. Vivimos en una sociedad donde los ricos están demonizados, porque es muy fácil el discurso de tú eres pobre porque ese cabrón es rico. Tú no eres pobre porque ese tío sea rico, es decir, él no te quita el dinero a ti, él crea riqueza y crea puestos de trabajo. Si tú ganas dinero y te va bien, es como si estuvieras en vez de verlo desde el punto de vista positivo de algo estarás haciendo bien. Algo no, estarás no, aportando. La gente sospecha. Estás haciendo. La sospecha es no, es que ganas demasiado. Nadie, o sea, todo el mundo quiere tu pasta, pero nadie quiere el esfuerzo que tú haces. Lo que tienes que decir es, oye, ¿qué hace este tío que yo pueda aprender para ganar tanta pasta? Now, this reel belongs to Media Dynasty. And with a huge shout out to Creator, we're gonna reveal this real secret in a few parts. First, we are going to focus on setting up scenes and animating cameras, and then we focus on text animation and adding effects in following parts. So, let's start. So, here we are inside of Adobe After Effects, and we are going to create the first and second scene of this reel. So I'm going to open the assets folder and I'm going to bring the BG1 composition. So I'm just going to open it and we have a background as you see in here and a person in here. So I'm just going to bring the background first and then I'm going to bring the uh, person as well. So let's just rename it to BG and let's call this one character or person. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to turn them into 3D. And as you see, my two views uh, is on, so you can change it from here. And I'm gonna active the top view for the left side so we can see it better. And now what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just gonna reposition this um, characters a bit. So to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna press S to reveal the scale. I'm just gonna scale this one for like 150%. And same as this one, I'm just gonna scale it a bit. I'm just gonna uh, place it in here and let's just re scale it. Okay, that seems good. And now, what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just gonna create a new camera. So let's uh, add a camera in here. Now the standard type is one note camera with the 50 millimeter preset. So I'm just gonna leave it to 50 millimeter and then I'm gonna hit okay. So we have this camera. And now what I'm going to do on the next step is that I just want to create a zoom in effect for the first part of reel as you have saw in the original reel. But however, let's just bring the second, um, second scene as well so we can adjust it better. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to open the BG2 layers and I'm just going to uh, bring the background and let's just call it BG and then I'm just going to bring the person as well in here and let's call this one character. Now we have four layers with the same names so let's just rename, recolor these ones to orange and these ones to yellow so we can distinguish them better. And now also I'm just gonna add a bit of overlay. So we have some snow overlays in here for the first scene. Let's just hide the second scene for now because we are going to focus on the first scene. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna uh, rotate it for 90 degree. And then I'm just gonna scale it like this. Now, as you see, we have sort of a black background so we can get rid of it by changing the blend mode from normal to lighter. So now we will have this scene. Okay, that is good. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna add a no so we can control the camera better. So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna create a, I'm gonna go on new and then I'm gonna select the null object and this I'm gonna call it the zoom in. And in order to make this null work, we need to parent the camera to the null. So this is the null, I'm going to turn it into 3D so we can control that. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press P to reveal position. I'm going to set a keyframe and then I'm just going to go towards, for example, mm -hmm, let's say around here, mm, one seconds and 30 frames. And uh, or let's just go further, like one seconds and 26 frames. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to zoom in the camera to the character. Something like this should be good. So let's just watch. Okay, 
the movement is linear. So I'm just gonna press F9 to turn it into easy ease and then I'm gonna go towards the graph editor and I'm gonna just drag the handles like this. Great, this is good, but the zoom is a bit rough at this point. So let's just reverse it into its original shape. And let's just do something like this. Okay, now we have a better zooming. Now let's talk about today's video sponsor, which is Auto AE. Auto AE can help you to create wider hooks without any editing skills. I have partnered with Auto AT and now you can have access to my project files and edit them without having editing skills. Once you select a project, you can quickly edit the assets and export your version in less than 10 seconds. So be sure to check the link in the description to find out more about Auto AT. Also, if you have enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Now let's continue. That's good. Now what I'm going to do on the second step is that I'm just going to go, for example, to one frame and 30 sec one seconds and one second and 30 frames. I'm sorry. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a new node and I'm going to parent this node to the second node. And the reason for that is while this movement is happening, I want to add another movement, which is a rotation, as you have saw in the reel. And to do that, what I'm going to do is that, for example, I'm just going to go towards the let's say like uh, one second and third frames i'm gonna open the rotation let's turn this node into 3d and let's just rename it to rotation and also zoom so what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna set a keyframe on rotation z rotation and then i'm just gonna move a few frames forward like let's say around here and then i'm just gonna rotate these for like 20 hmm, Three degree. Okay, that is good. And then what I'm going to do is that on here, I'm going to add a position keyframe. And then I'm just going to go a few frames forward. And then I'm just going to zoom this uh, character to the second. So I'm just going to basically move towards the second scene. So to do that, I'm just going to use the top view in here, as you see, I'm just going to move it a bit above and then I'm going to push it towards right. So we will have something like this. That is exactly what we want. So let's just zoom in a bit. Great. Now let's watch. I'm just going to turn off the port viewports so we can focus on easings at this point because this is really important so we're just gonna go in and then it's gonna just zoom rotates and then it's gonna rotate to the second scene now we need to work on the easing so what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna select the z rotation i'm gonna press f9 and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna give them a bit of um, you know speed so I'm just gonna drag this uh, speed graph for the second keyframe up I'm gonna do this first thing I'm gonna do the first push up for the first keyframe as well so we will have something like this now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna F9 the second set of keyframes I'm gonna push it towards right however I'm just gonna drag it a bit above so it doesn't start so roughly Great, so this was all for the first scene, which is quite easy. And as I have mentioned earlier, this video is step by step. So I'm just going to cover the text animations in a dedicated video. So don't worry about it. Now, what I'm going to do on the next step is that we need to go towards the second scene. So I'm just going to reveal the back character and background in here. So let's just watch and see what, ha what is happening. So we need to push the character and background a bit forward around here should be good and we need to turn them into 3d now as soon as we do that it's gonna get affected by the um 3d nodes so that is not a problem what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna select the character 
let's just for example for now just push them towards here so we can see better what is happening so i'm just going to select the background so in order to fix this problem we need to push the background a bit uh, further than camera so i'm just gonna push the background in here so you can see the top view now we are pu pushing the background further from the camera which is in here so i'm just gonna bring it in here press r to reveal the rotation and rotate the background a bit like this and then reposition it again like this great that is good and we need to do the same thing with the second layer so i'm just gonna bring it in here it is affected by rotation a bit so i'm just gonna press r to reveal the character rotation and we're gonna change the z rotation and then what we are going to do is that we're just gonna push it a bit in here so now we will have something like this great this is good now we need to morph sort of cut the beginning of these two layers so we don't see it in the first scene so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to select these two layers and then almost when it's in here i'm just gonna cut from here that is good so we'll have something like this the character zooms and then morphs to the second scene which is exactly what happened in the original reel so what we need to do on the next step is that we need to also add a zoom in movement for the second scene so it right now it looks too static as you see like it just morphs and then it stops so this is a bad movement so we need to fix it so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to create a new null object and then i'm going to call this one zoom in and i'm gonna just call i'm gonna add a second at the end of it so we know that belongs to the second scene so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm just gonna turn this null into 3d and then i'm gonna press p to reveal position let's also press u on the uh, second null so around here i'm just gonna set position keyframe and then i'm just gonna zoom this null a bit so right now as you see the null doesn't really have any movement and that is because we need to parent the rotation zoom to the zoom in second so basically we need to create a master rig so right now i forgot to do that so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to go towards the first keyframe in here so we don't accidentally mess up with the other layers and I'm going to parent the rotation zoom to the zoom in second. And now if I go towards here, I can pretty much zoom in right like this. So now let's watch. This goes right here and then it just goes in here. We have some black areas in here and that I don't like. So I'm just going to push it in here. Let's just push it in towards here okay that is good let's just zoom pull the uh, pull the keyframes a bit further but as you see the movement in here doesn't look really good in my opinion so we need to make the zoom a bit slower so how are we going to do that it's well pretty simple so i'm just gonna press f9 and then i'm just gonna press shift plus f3 to go towards the draft editor and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to pull this handle like this towards here. So now if I do that, still the movement is, as you see, is too fast. You even didn't realize what happened. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to push the first, uh, second, I'm sorry, keyframe a bit up like this. So let's just um, turn it into standard easing so you, know, um, so you understand it better. What I did in here is that I just basically pull the second keyframe towards here so like around 200 mm, 250 pixels and then i just created something like this so now let's watch 
So as you see now the zoom is a bit slower. So we can, what we can do is that we can just uh, increase the distance a bit. This is exactly what we want. That's good. But however, let's just uh, fix the uh, character. So right now, as you see, we have some uh, borders that are not aligned. So I'm just going to press U to, I'm going to press R to reveal the rotation. I'm just going to push it a bit towards middle. Let's don't forget to scale this one to here. Same as the character. We need to fix the positioning a bit. Let's just zoom character a bit. So now, great, that is good. Now we can add another node and we can push it towards this third scene, which we are going to cover in the next video. So here we are at the end of the first part. If you are interested in making these type of videos, check out the DA edit and use the code editing style.